about three weeks ago, on March 2nd, our school celebrated Cashier Pulaski Day, so we got the day off. For the normal student, this just means a day where you can sleep in and relax. But some of you may be asking the question, why do we have this day off? Who is this Cashier Pulaski anyways? Those are very good questions. I also have those questions, and now I plan to answer those in this speech. Today, I will inform you of Pulaski's legacy, his history in colonial America, and why we need to appreciate what he did for the American people. According to Wikipedia, Kazimierz Pulaski was born into a very wealthy family in Warsaw, Poland on March 6, 1745. Growing up, Pulaski explored politics and followed in his father's footsteps. His father, Joseph, was one of the creators of the Bar Confederation. The Bar Confederation is basically a fancy organization for Polish nationalism. After this movement ultimately failed, Kazimierz rose up in the ranks of the revolutionary movement known as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. This movement was pretty similar to the Bar Confederation. They both had similar causes of Polish freedom and the end of persecution. This movement also ultimately failed, but Kashmir undoubtedly gained extremely valuable combat knowledge for his next war, which would become the American Revolution. According to mountvernon.org, Pulaski went into exile and fled his home of Poland. From there, he went east to Turkey, Romania, and then even west to France, trying to escape imprisonment from the invading Russians. In France, he ran into and talked to the well-known American diplomat, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin, who was an amazing persuasive speaker, convinced Pulaski to travel to the United States and help the Americans fight in the Revolutionary War. Pulaski arrived in America with tons of combat knowledge compared to the majority of Americans at the time, and he was bolstered by a great recommendation from Benjamin Franklin, who recruited him. So, he got to take over as one of the only brigadier generals of the Revolutionary War and helped America defeat the British to become an independent country. Basically, a brigadier general is when you're in charge of the horses and all the cavalry. Specifically, Pulaski traveled throughout the colonies and helped defend the Northeast from British advances. The main reason why Pulaski is better known than many other generals during the time is the fact that he actually saved George Washington's life during the Battle of Brandywine Creek, which was fought on September 11, 1777, near Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. According to WordPress.com, Pulaski saw Washington's escape route being cut off by British soldiers, and he flew over to the battlefield to help Washington's escape. The fact that Pulaski saved Washington's life single-handedly changed single-handedly changed the course of American history. This event sealed his place in history and made him a hero of the war in the American public eyes. After being stationed in the South to defend Georgia, Pulaski died later in the Second Battle of Savannah on October 9, 1779, when, according to mountvernon.org, he was fatally shot by a grape shot, which is a type of cannon. He only lived to the age of 34 and never lived to see the victory that he worked so hard for. But the effects of his legacy are still extremely prevalent today. He did not allow the British to invade America, but instead he fought for American rights. Now, large populations, including Chicago and Bloomington, which are predominantly Polish, honor his legacy every year in March to parades, parties, days off, and other types of gatherings. Even though many people celebrate Kashmir Pulaski Day, only a few know about his legacy and his value to all the American people. Pulaski trained the American cavalry, fought as a brave and ferocious general, and even saved George Washington's life. Now, you know about Pulaski's history and why people still remember him so many years later. The next time someone asks you about why we celebrate Kazimierz Pulaski Day, 
you can tell them the full story and why, at least in some people's eyes, he is a hero for the American Revolutionary War and should be remembered as such.